This is the Las Vegas Convention Center, and we are here this week to attend the largest baking show in the Western Hemisphere. Some 23,000 people are expected to attend. This is a show held once every three years and showcases the latest technologies, equipment, ingredients, products, and services for the professional baking industry. Along with the expo, which is what we're going to visit, there are some 100 seminars and hands-on training sessions for folks who are attending. Now, we won't see everything at this show. We'll taste a few things, and I hope you enjoy the video. Because I go to so many conventions, I have a large collection of convention bags, and I'm just about to get one more. Just met Fred Isla. Yes. He just uh, left the baking team at what Caesar's Caesar Palace, Palace and going on, and he is here representing New York Cake. What does New York Cake do? New York Cake provides molds and impression molds for cake decorators and pastry chefs. That what we need in industry. Right now. Okay, and look here are some of them. And you had another announcement about uh, yes. competition you're going to yes, be involved. Yes, you will be able to see me on September 29th on Halloween Cake Wars, premiering on September 29th, 9, 9 p.m. Eastern Pacific Time. Okay, on what? On the Food Network. On the Food Network. Okay, good luck. Is, 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 are you competing? I will be competing as one of my teams there. I am the sugar artist for one of the teams. Okay, all right, good luck. And thank thanks you. for talking with me. Of course, thank you. I'm still at New York Cake, and I Looks was like looking you at this uh, cake, and the gentleman here said, oh, we sell these sparkly things, and they are all edible. I'll be darned. Beautiful. I just had a lecture from one of the representatives from the American Egg Board, and I asked her, I said, is it true that eggs sort of fell out of favor? And she said, yes. In the 80s, there was a lot of discussion about cholesterol and eggs, but she said new studies have indicated that one egg a day is not harmful and, in fact, can be very beneficial, and they're here to talk for all the egg farmers in America. This is the Milne Micro Dried Exhibit. And look at all these different, whoops. Can you read it? Cauliflower powder, red bell, pepper powder, okra slice, tomato fragments, rhubarb powder. You think you have a lot of spices in your kitchen? Well, it is nothing compared to a bakery. This is the Dobla booth, and look at these cakes and cupcakes, and they look delicious. I stopped by Navarro Pecan because they had samples here, but look at all the different varieties of, what do you call it, sizes or cuttings? Yeah, those or? are different sizes of pieces. That would be available to the baking industry. Look at those very tiny ones. Don't we all love pecans? I'm at G&I Products from Phoenix, and they have glazes, icings, and more. So I came around and I said, you mean when we buy a cake at a bakery that the bakery may not have made their own icing? And the gentleman here said, probably not. They have varieties of icings. Look at how beautiful these cakes are. I think the gentleman said all these cakes were made in the last three days of the show. Anyway, these beautiful cakes were decorated here by Christy, Christy Vega. Vega. She's been on Cake Wars, and wow, what a job she did. Oh, I can't imagine. Gorgeous. Stopped at a booth that had a whole bunch of lovely pastries, and this gentleman said? So, our company is Bridor. Bridor. We're based in France, and we manufacture in France and New Jersey and Montreal, and we ship the products frozen all over the world, and the customer bakes them uh, in their ovens at their restaurants or cafes or country clubs. Okay, and look at the selection here. They are just absolutely gorgeous. I love bread, and I keep hearing that, <laughs> that I should cut it out, but... Oh, look how beautiful these are. 
Well, welcome to Las Vegas, and I hope you had a good show. Thank you. Well, the Pizza Magazine is here, and you can sign up for a subscription. Bakeware is here from China, and uh, it's lunchtime with chopsticks. Okay, I have Danny and Louis from Magaya Foods, which is headquartered in Veracruz, Mexico, and the sign right behind them says Vanilla Growers. I recently bought some vanilla, and the checkout lady said, do you realize that bottle of vanilla is $15 or whatever it was? Of course, I bought it anyway. We have to have vanilla. But the question is, why is vanilla so expensive? Well, it's a very uh, manual, extensive process. First of all, when you, you first start planting, it will take around five years to get maturity and then you can start harvesting. So only is it a plant, a bush, it, what is it? It's a vine. It, it a needs, vine? It needs another tree to grow around and it feeds out of the bark of that tree and the compost that you put under uh, the plant. And then we only have one year floration and one harvest every year. The pollination is manual, so you need to hire a hundreds of people to manually go and pollinize the flower by hand and then it takes up to three to four months to curate the, the bean from green to what you you see in here as okay a bean okay in this color so that, that's basically uh, why the price is so high and the production was demised by hurricanes and climate uh, problems in Madagascar, which produce around 60% of the production around the world. Um, so there you go. That's the reason why. I love that explanation. Thank you very much. No problem. Have a good day. <clears throat> by the way, I thought maybe people ought to buy vanilla instead of gold. And the gentleman here said, well, yeah, they have about 25 years of shelf life. So what we don't learn at these trade shows. This is GLCC Co. Company in Pawpaw, Michigan, and I'm talking to this gentleman, Jonathan, and then I see behind him, I said, this must be your company. That's yes, right. indeed. So and I can never never change the logo or my, my face to the beard because I have to look like the logo. Absolutely, and and their company makes flavors, and show me, their little, their powder. Yes, they're a powdered flavor. They're an encapsulated flavor, which means that they're locked into a molecule made from cyclodextrin. Okay, it gets way too is, complicated, but... What but it does it, is protect the flavor through baking, so that oh. when, they're, when, they're, when you're applying heat normally to a, a flavor, it blows off in the air and doesn't end up in the finished product. So this protects the flavor so that more of the flavor ends up in the finished product. Okay, case, and, and he has some samples here and I'm going to see whether he's telling the truth. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what a lovely name, Paris Gourmet. And here I see they have bags of something. These are bases for making gelato and hungry visitors can actually get a free sample. Beautiful display and I had to ask what does the company do here? This is Ippy. This is an Italian company that will make this display cabinet. Am I right to call it a mechanical sifter? Yes. Ah. And so What is, what, what is this? This is cornmeal, and this is just cracked corn that's mixed in with the meal. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I didn't even know. How much does a company pay for something like this? Well, this little unit right here is about $5,600. Uh, our larger units run anywhere from ten to 20000 depending on the diameter and uh, how many decks they have on them. Okay, this is Midwestern Industries, Inc. Yes. Where are you located? Maslin, Ohio. Okay, well, welcome to Las Vegas. Well, An you. interesting machine. The sign says sunflowers have a natural nutty flavor and CHS will make them uh, available to bakers. Like I said at a previous show, I should have bought a hemp ranch. And did you know there was such a thing as a hemp brownie? Now, brownies of all sorts 
are very tasty and I'm hoping the same goes for this. This is the Fresh Origins booth and look at these beautiful toppings and look how you can dress up all kinds of things. Bagels, ice cream, cakes, etc. I love this name, Thunderbird, German technology, brand of the USA and they make the kinds of equipment that professional bakeries need. Right, pronounce it for me. Chimichurri. Chimichurri. And you are Gaucho Ranch? Gaucho Ranch Chimichurri. And you are in Miami? We make everything in Miami. And you make several flavors here? Yes. You said these would go on steaks? On steak, on chicken, on salmon, on tilapia, on burgers, as if it was ketchup, on fries, on rice. Is this a anything. Latin American? Uh, it's a Latin American staple, yes. Yeah, a la Each perfect. Latin American country has its own chimichurri. Okay, all right. Well, and they are here from Miami. How's this show been for you? Good. Good? good. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. Well, welcome to Las Vegas. Thank you. If I had been smart, I would have brought a <laughs> cart, and then I could have taken home everything. This is the last day of the show, and so more things are available today than were available the previous two days. Francis Packaging has all kinds of stuff. So I never invite them to complain, so that's one thing, right? Now what do I do? If they write a review and it's positive, I'm going to send them a cake because I am so tired of rewarding complainers. I am so tired of it, right? If you compliment me, I'm going to be like, whatever you need, you can have all of it. You want my shirt? I'll give it to you, right? The rest of you will make not want that to happen. But <laughs> I will do whatever I can. So if we found good reviews, we would make them a cake. We would say, we would call them up and say, hey, are you going to be in town for Thanksgiving? We'd love to make you a pie. Do you have time to come by and pick one up? People love that. What do they do then? They tell everybody. So I think 10 good reviews outweighs one bad. <laughs> this is the inner seal exhibit and something I didn't know existed, but of course I have used the product. This, this is a little machine that puts that tiny little closer on all the bags that we get from the bakery, the store, etc. You're in North Carolina? Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, I'll be done. And here you can even buy the ingredients to make waffles. And you can buy the whole waffle. And the lady says, you can buy our stuff online. Lou Waffle. All right, well, I wanted to thank you all for coming to this demonstration. I know there's a lot to see at the show. Um, so thanks for taking time out of your day to learn a little bit about travel cakes. So travel cakes is a topic that I wanted to introduce. Um, they're very common in France and other parts of Europe, but it's not a concept that we're necessarily familiar with in the US. So what is a travel cake? Essentially, it's a fancy pound cake. Our fruits, your passion. This is a very Back common, bell. typical place is going to be using in a bakery. This particular one is cakes all the time. And this company is Grex, this is Grex. Grex Professional uh -huh. Airbrush Products. Right. And this is edible. We have ed we don't have edible colors. We're using edible colors. All we sell are the tool itself. Ah, okay, okay. So today we're using Chef Rubber um, colors. Huh. So look what you could do. It would scare me to eat these, but this is a sponge cake, you said? Yeah, just like this. Oh. They're dirty on the back side because we've been playing with them and running them all around. But oh. we, we painted those yesterday or the day before. I don't remember. Well, something else that I didn't know that I know now. Yeah. You can use airbrushing to paint pastry. Or tortillas. Or tortillas. Well, yeah. that's not so pretty. Cake. Oh, here. This is... Red. Oh. All kinds of interesting... Cool. This is a 1940 Rockola jukebox. It is beautiful. I'm old enough to remember flower power, but not spelled this way. F-L-O-U-R. 
I love signs and I like them when they attract my attention. So you actually help people find jobs yeah, and favorites. Yeah, we're a staffing company for industrial type workers, blue collar workers. So we work in the baking industry as well as distribution, warehousing, construction, anything that people I use bet you're company. busy these days. We're extremely busy. We spend most of our time looking for workers to fill our clients' orders. It's not easy. Ahead of me is the Doe Tech booth and it's a huge booth lots of equipment that I'm sure ends up baking lots of bread and perhaps rolls other things it is beyond my pay grade but look at how much stuff is here this is dough tech I have to talk to Ryan because I saw a sign here that said this is this is a bag emptying system. Ryan, how does it work? So the bag emptying system, you're gonna send your your material, your bag of material into the system. So it like, might be flour? Might or... be flour, sugar, salt, um, any material that you may be used, may be used in your facility. And the, the system is gonna open the bag and separate the material from the package. So in this particular system, it's a guillotine opening the bag and tipping the bag up to allow the material to flow out and the material Under, down yeah yep, the material would gravity flow down and be sent to a, a next step for processing while the the package or the bag is sent out the opposite side and in this system to a bag compactor um, that can be just to uh, reduce your amount of waste compact your packaging prior to sending it to compost or recycling. So how much does a machine like this cost? It really depends on the, the application and all the features that you choose. Well, we what, give me ballparks oh. from what's to what? I mean, you could be anywhere from thirty to $60,000. Now really just this depends. opens the bags, but this has to be in a huge facility, right? Yep, this would be for uh, mass producing um, your final product. <laughs> I never knew there was such a thing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This is the Embassy Ingredients booth, and this is the largest cupcake I may have ever seen. And I actually was given a cupcake to take home. And that reminds me, maybe it is time for my late lunch. I've enjoyed being at the show. Uh, there were samples to be had, and I was pretty good about avoiding them. But I love this show. It smells great, and the decorations on the pastries are unbelievable. Love this show.